Hello everyone. Welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix iPhone time and date on lock screen is a dim, faded or grayed out issue which is happening for many of these users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. So we have few steps which can be done and the first one is all about you have to do a force restart on your iPhone. So to do a force restart on your iPhone you have to press volume up followed by volume down and you have to press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. So just press volume up followed by volume down and you have to press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. So once the restart is successfully done and you will be letting know how to do this up so I'll be showing you this. So just press volume up followed by volume down and you have to press and hold the power button like this. So unless and until you see, see the Apple logo and that is what we have to do. So once you see the Apple logo, you just need to wait because this has to get completely loaded up. So this is what you have to do. So let me wait until this get completely loaded up. Once afterwards, you get into the this one and once afterwards you can do like this. So once you're done with this one, you're fine with it. So this is the first step. Sometimes after done with the restart, still you might be having the issue. So you have to try restart a couple of times because sometimes a multiple times of restart can fix the issue up. So keep on trying force restart for maybe two or three times, the issue will be completely fixed. After trying with the force restart, still if you are having the trouble, the next one is all about you have to reset all settings and that is what we have to do. When you do a reset all settings, your data will not be deleted but instead the settings will be set into default. So just tap over here in the settings, now keep scrolling down and tap on general. Now keep on scrolling down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Go over here in the reset and there is an option called reset all settings. Just go for the reset all settings. Afterwards try and that will be working fine. So these both two apps will be helping guys out when you are having this trouble and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.